Hello, we are the Cook family sailing on sailing vessel Hang Time. We purchased uh, this catamaran in 2017, November, where TZ flew out to La Rochelle to pick it up and bring it over to the US. Uh, we've been currently sailing the uh, Caribbean with it over the last couple years, and we'd just like to introduce the family here. I'm Brad Cook. I'm Mom. Karen Cook, but my nickname is TZ, so I go by TZ Cook. Ben. How old are you, Ben? I'm 11. Yeah. Uh, I am Charlie. I am nine years old. And this is Ruby. This is Ruby, our newest addition to our boat. She's a Havanese uh, puppy. She just turned one year old, and we got her in Nova Scotia last year, and she's a great addition to the crew. We have a Cotton Peugeot Sayona 47. We bought it brand new in France and it's been a great home for our family for the past two years. I'd say sailing has always been a passion of mine and a dream that uh, I was always hoping one day would come to fruition. Uh, I've always loved the sea, so getting on a boat and finding that freedom and spending a lot of time with family on board, um, making memories. It's probably one really big part of uh, this adventure of ours right now. I would say we've loved the freedom that a boat allows you just to travel, look at a map, uh, pick a destination point and uh, go to it. Plan it out and figure out a way to get there and uh, enjoy the adventure. Uh, my best sailing experience was Probably when we went fishing, because we were with all our friends, and we got to go swimming, and there was whales, and it was just really fun. My favorite place was Cap Can Marina in the Dominican Republic. Uh, my best sailing experience has definitely been uh, with the family, uh, visiting uh, new islands and um, uncharted water that we haven't been to before. So uh, pulling up to an island and exploring it, exploring the waters, the beaches, uh, it's definitely a highlight, so. Uh, we loved Union for kite surfing. Uh, it was a pretty special spot down there in the Grenadines for us. Other areas, uh, the Bahamas waters, uh, we're really looking forward to getting back to. Just uh, how remote they are and a lot of sea life. I love the sunrises and the sunsets on board hang time. My favorite spot on board hang time has to be the salon in the morning or evenings. Evenings, uh, you get that sunset, uh, typically when you're in the trade winds and the back of the boat is facing west and uh, lots of seating area, so usually it's a social hour with friends and family. I'd say a sailor that um, inspires me is probably Delos. Um, the way they've been able to move around the world, uh, create a lot of memories, a lot of friends, and a lot of great photos and video of their experiences. So definitely something we uh, would love to recreate as we keep going here. To best prepare for a cruise obviously depends on the amount of time at sea. If it's a short passage, um, a day or two, uh, we can pretty much pull up anchor and go. There's not uh, a lot to do, but being equipped as these uh, FPs are um, and the safeties that on board them, we do feel very safe at sea. So it really comes down to uh, provisioning um, your food supplies and ensuring that your water maker is working well and engines are, and gasoline are all topped off. It's a great boat. It seems like even when we meet other sailing families, we always end up congregating on hang time. There's just so much space around. We're kind of always the ones hosting dinners or taking the boat sailing, whatever else. It's comfortable and welcoming and feels good. Feels like home. You can have 20 people on this boat and not feel uh, crowded. I think there's so many different places where people can hang out. The best place we've been with a catamaran would probably be Newfoundland. Pretty special place, very remote, uh, extremely friendly people, and a very rugged environment. 
so you would be able to get up and see uh, see kind of the island um, from the outside in very easily. We're in the Virgin Islands. Our plan had been to cross the Atlantic to go back to the Mediterranean and go sail there for the next season or two. But because of COVID, we don't feel like that's the smart choice anymore. So we are waiting things out in the US Virgin Islands. We've been here about six weeks and we think we'll be here at least another month. We'll wait for it to warm up up in the northern United States and up into Canada and we'll plan to make our way up there and spend the summer on the east coast of Canada. That's where we spent our last two summers. We really loved it. Nova Scotia is my home province and just cruising around there, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland. It's a really beautiful place to spend the summer and be with family and friends. Okay, hang time out. Hang time out. <laughs>